Good morning, people of Tableau. I am Albert Bellamy, aka Major Data, and this is the 30 day Tableau challenge where we are within 30 days studying up and completing our Tableau desktop certification. Now, uh, when I left you off a couple of days ago, I was trying to play catch up. I was giving you the week two recap and the week three look ahead. So now in calendar two days later, but uh, in internet time, God only knows. Um, I'm going to do the week three recap. We're going to look ahead to week four, the kind of penultimate week of our training schedule, depending on when you're doing this and how many days you've allocated to it. Uh, I plan to get through this in 30 days. You do you. Um, so let's just say average month, fourth week, this is going to be your last week. So we're really kind of uh, gearing up. I'm going to kind of give you a a bit of a smorgasbord of options here this week. Uh, there's not really super structured. And um, so we're coming off today, this morning, here in a couple of hours, the 365 data science free trial ends. Sad day. But um, yeah, if you uh, if you choose to continue on and pay for 365 data science, as far as I've seen, it's totally worth it. But again, do you I'm going to talk about what I completed this past week. Um, so let's get right to it. We go ahead and there we go. All right. So um, I have not 100 percent completed this. I, I knocked out. I started doing a one of the classes that was kind of a SQL lead in to a Tableau project. Um, I, I came off of that because I really want to keep this challenge kind of Tableau pure. And while that class looked very good, I will probably complete it at some point going ahead because I really do want to, um, I want to encourage all the users to integrate different systems. And so you absolutely should be, you know, I've stressed going end to end with these Tableau projects. So you don't want to be in a sandbox environment. You want to be downloading a data set. You want to be putting it in the Tableau. You want to be putting some imagination into your design choices and um, what you know what skills you're displaying and and kind of muddling your way through problems. However, um, my SQL is quite rusty. My SQL installs are a little different between my work computer and my uh, my old. Uh, beater laptop upstairs. So I just decided that was kind of not the most efficient use of my time. This challenge is about Tableau. We're not going to get tested on SQL at the end when we take the desktop test. So um, I bailed off of that midstream and I went and did this. Um, this is the only other Tableau pure project that I see on 365 Data Science. So I knocked this one out. Now I did the heavy lifting. Um, you can see I did all of the visualizations. I have not yet. It was kind of late last night, and um, I decided to to pack it in. And so I did not get all of these filters built in. But let me show you um, kind of what I got. Uh, so for the most part, got the the KPI kind of this uh, this card here with the student count. I got the map integration. I liked that. Um, this monthly completion rates, this kind of threw me for a loop initially because I wasn't just not getting the um, the analysis like the calculated fields. I feel like I probably um, went a little overboard. Give me one second. I always forget to turn on Zoom. It. If you don't have Zoom, it, it is a free download. If you are in the business of doing video chats or uh, online classes or webinars or anything like that, it is a must have. Biggity bam. There we go. So I feel like a lot of these I created, I feel like I probably went a little overboard on the uh, calculated fields. If somebody else has a, I'm sure there are people out there that have more streamlined versions. I always say when I'm doing Alteryx weekly challenges, as I'm kind of building this sort of clunky and overwhelming workflow, I'm like, there's a better way to do this. There's a more elegant way to do this. I know that there is. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to see somebody else's solution to this project. I hope other people did uh, this. I haven't um, I haven't gone over Tableau Public much in the last couple of days. I do have to go on there and, you know, kind of favorite everybody's stuff and, and encourage all of the challengers. Um, but that kind of threw me for a loop. So I really enjoyed working through these calculated fields. 
because I felt like that was something that I probably needed some reinforcement on. And I just ended the sentence with a preposition. Sorry, Grandma. So uh, data card, map, um, dual axis graph, loved all of that. We've got these three bar graphs. Um, I do have to add some filters. Uh, that was kind of confusing me last night, and I just said, hey, it's it's time to kind of uh, give this a rest for right now. You can see I, I more or less followed the coloring scheme that they had. These ones I just left default, and then this one, because it's internet sources, I was like, let's make it some fun colors. So um, yeah, there's, there's a little more work to be done on this. I did post it to Tableau Public. Yeah, anyway, I don't, oh yeah, I got it up. So posted to Tableau Public, it's a little clunky. It needs some sort of appearance massaging. I followed the setup that they had in the project. I don't know that I like this setup. I think I prefer the previous project where we had the bar graphs along the bottom. It really doesn't, even if you widen this out here, uh, I don't think it features these kind of more, more impressive, more informative graphs. I, I feel like these are kind of, by exception briefs. Anyway, um, let me know what you think. Let me know if, if anybody else did this student onboarding. It's listed as an intermediate project. I did not find it to be significantly more difficult than the guided project we just did, which was, what was that one called? Um, I don't remember, just, oh, monthly post activity and, and all of that. Um, but that, that guided project, I really felt like that one, they, they were roughly equivalent. They stress the same things. This one, student onboarding incorporated a map. I don't know that that's terribly significant. Here, let's go, let's go to Tableau Public. Let's just do this right now. Recent activity, see all. Okay, favorite, 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 favorite. Nobody's posting anything. Slackers, y'all took the weekend off. There's one. Good job, Sarah. Student onboarding. There we go. Look at that. Oh, she got wildly creative. I feel shamed. You've shamed me, Sarah Massengill. Um, anyway, uh, Anastasia, good job. Under construction, student onboarding. See, Sarah's killing it. All right, cool. Student onboarding, Ruby. Good job. Student onboarding, Chris Kusha. And y'all are, y'all are really doing well. Okay, and now we're back to. The ones that I've, oh, Shiju, there we go. Shiju's doing some some different stuff. Uh, Matt Luton, I think, kind of bailed on the uh, the challenge real quick. So all good, love it. I will, um, look at that, student onboarding. And um, Ruby did exactly what I was just talking about. And she's got some cool labeling going on there. Okay, I really need to look at what Ruby got done. Great job, great job, everybody. Sarah's just looks like, looks fire. That's awesome, okay. So enough on that. Well done, everybody. Looks like y'all finished it out. I may even copy one of yours and just see how you did it. But uh, all right. So week, that was week three. Yeah, week three. So if you did that project, if you did another 365 class, good on you for taking advantage of your free week. Pivoting forward to people that are not doing this challenge during Tableau November. I will at the end or maybe after the end, maybe I'll do like the day 38, like I did for Alteryx. I will do a video on how you do this going forward because people going forward are not going to have the 365 free two week trial. Um, so I will do, I'm going to try and do a video where it's like, Hey, if you want to do this completely for free, other than the testing fee, obviously you do it this way. If you want to do this with a small budget, no more than a hundred bucks, you do it this way. And I will recommend kind of a, um, you know, maybe a Udemy course or two, uh, one of the Maven ones for sure, and that sort of thing. Okay. So that was great recap. I'd love to hear, tell me in the comments, everybody, what did you do in week three? What did you get accomplished? Obviously, we got a handful of people that, um, <laughs> that uh, went through and did that student onboarding project. Oop, there's Beakhead the student onboarding project great job if you did something different let me know if we're not connected on tableau public please uh down in the uh video notes my tableau public is listed there please connect with me uh or let me know what your what your name is and i'll connect with you moving on 
what are we doing in week four? Well, um, you've got quite a few options. Let's go ahead and so we did this a little out of, oh, of course it's not up. Anyway, uh, maybe I should do show prep. Um, so I talked about in the intro video, I talked about Simply Learn. Highly recommend that you get on Simply Learn if you have been if you've been doing kind of these intro courses all the way through, Simply Learn may just be sort of more of the same. Um, so when I recap this, I'll have some lessons learned as far as the order. I believe that in hindsight, probably doing the Maven Analytics, the Dustin Cabral course, whether you subscribe to Maven or whether you get it on Udemy, that is probably the best thing to close with and prepare for the test. We did that as a as a week one open. I would say that so far I've seen that is the thing that prepares you for the test better than anything. It is, you know, it is specifically a test prep course. So uh, that makes sense. All right. Um, so looking forward into week three or week four, if you have already done um, Alex Freeberg's uh, Tableau projects. And I kind of recommended that as a warm up thing. If you have not done that, I highly recommend that you go through his, um, his full beginner Tableau playlist. I'm not showing that here. You just see the, um, this is the, uh, the final video of it. So it's five videos. It'll take you like two hours to watch the videos, maybe another 30 to 30 to 60 minutes to, to kind of stop Alex, go do the work, catch back up. Um, so that's probably three, four hours worth of work if you're starting from scratch. But honestly, like the first video is how to download Tableau Public. The second video is like getting access to data. So really you could probably, if you've done everything so far and this is your first time doing Alex's videos, you could probably jump straight into that part five full Tableau project and you'd be fine. Now, what I want to focus on here is he's got another project, and that is, now this isn't Tableau Pure. You will have to do some, uh, MySQL, I believe, is what he uses here, um, although he's, sometimes he uses SSMS. So a couple of different flavors of SQL, but I believe for his Tableau projects, uh, for these data projects, he uses MySQL. Either way, open source, free download, just takes, you know, Factor that into your time planning that you're going to have to download something if you don't already have MySQL or uh, SSMS installed. Um, but he's got videos on how to install all of that stuff, so don't worry about it. But you will have to do this um, SQL portion in order to prep the data for the Tableau visualization. Highly recommend it. You know, if you're if you're studying Tableau, why not study SQL as well, or at least brush up on your skills if you're already good at it. So I highly recommend week four. Do um, do Alex's projects, comment on his videos, uh, report your progress on LinkedIn. I highly recommend that. And then um, the other recommendation is my man, Andrew Jones here. Um, Andrew and I have been friends for a while. Um, I back from when I was helping out with how to get an analytics job. And he was one of the first kind of big name guests that I got to prep for the show and he and I did a lot of uh, kind of content stuff together and, and work together on questions for the show and he's just a ton of fun he's a great guy um, highly recommend his whole uh, his whole program data science infinity is a great course I've done some of the courses but he's got this fantastic it's an 18 video series completely free tableau made easy um, you can see all the videos are kind of bite-sized, the whole thing together, probably take you, again, three or four hours if you're watching the video, stopping, doing the work. Um, I plan to go through this and review some of these videos. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Andrew is the man, and he has just got a mountain, much like Alex. He's got, look, like half bald guys with beards. Um, it's pretty funny. But Andrew's got a mountain of fantastic free content out there. Check out his, subscribe to his YouTube channel for sure. Check out what he's got to offer. And I think that will do us for week four. Now, the additional thing is um, finish up anything that you 
kind of got shorted on earlier. I personally did not finish the Maven course. I have it on Udemy. So, you know, the Maven free week ran out. That was prior to November. I plan to go back and finish that as my final test prep, because that was, to me, that seemed like the best and most appropriate test prep. They kind of nailed every thing that was highlighted on the test in that course, in what I went through. And I made it like halfway through that in the in the kind of shortened week one. So um, yeah, let me know what you're doing with this. I know that uh, sort of the initial master schedule really got thrown for a loop. You know, I screwed up the Maven dates and that was prior to November. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, week four, a lot of good free stuff, a lot of good YouTube content. Um, but, you know, a lot of, I, I look forward to seeing more creativity on Tableau Public and people just sort of taking these projects their own way. Um, I've been a bit cookie cutter lately because I've been trying to play catch up. I plan to get away from that this week uh, and really, you know, do some more creative stuff with uh, some of these dashboards, especially since I see that some of the people following the challenge are, are really getting creative with it. Um, next thing, I have got to um, check on LinkedIn. I'm going to post a video about getting me to pay for your certification. So I'm a man of my word. That is going to happen. I am looking for, uh, today is Monday the 20th, Monday the 27th. I'm going back to Cleveland, home sweet home for Thanksgiving. I will be back on Monday and I plan to do, um, I'm going to post a live session for Monday night, the 27th. Um, and I will try to coordinate it. Uh, we've got a couple couple people in India doing the challenge. So I, I'd like to put these videos on when they can attend. Ruby's one. And but yeah, Monday night for us here in Eastern time zone, I want to do a live session and we will pick. I don't know how many people we'll have trying to uh, trying to take the cert on my dime. Probably not that many, actually. Uh, but we'll pick who gets the uh, the free certificate. and. Um, I will on LinkedIn, I will post the kind of final requirements, what you got to do to get that. Number one is uh, subscribe to the channel and comment on this post. So make sure you do that. And so with that, folks, I don't think there's much left for me to say other than follow me, people, and I will make you a genuine Tableau hero just like me.